Hi. In talking to Moodle 1.9 users, one topic that was often discussed was the lack of a place for students to store files. Now, there's many ways you can set up activities in Moodle 1.9 to enable students to share files, wikis, forums, databases, but there was no private file area for students to store files. Now, that's changed in Moodle 2.0. Now you can add a block where a student can manage his own private files. So let's have a look. Here we have a student logged into the sample course, and over here on the right is a new private files block. As you can see, the student has three options, add, create folder, and download all. So let's add a file. We click on add, and up comes a new file picker. Now the student could pull this file from a range of repositories, but for now, let's just upload a file. So here we have attachment, we can click on browse, and I'm going to select this Moodle logo. Now when I click on upload this file, there it is, the image is now in my private files area. And now let's create a folder. I click on create folder, and for this one I'm going to call it images, type in images and click OK. So there we have our folder and our file uploaded. On the right hand side here you can see an options, and for the folder I can either zip or delete, and for the file I can either download, rename, move or delete. So now I'm going to move this image into the folder. So I'm going to select the file options and choose move. I'm then going to double click on images and click on move. And there we have it. We're in files and images and here is the image. Now renaming is equally as easy. Just select the file options, click on rename and in this case we're going to call it just logo.gif. So we'll click on rename. Now deleting a file is just as easy and to avoid accidental delete you are prompted to confirm this and once you do the file would be gone. But in this case we'll just cancel. So let's go back out to the main area. Here you have your images folder. Now let's say you've uploaded quite a few files and you want to just download them all together. You can just select the folder and zip. This automatically creates a zip of all of the images in that folder and all the different files, whatever they might be. Now let's say you've got lots of folders and lots of files. Downloading them either one file at a time or even one folder at a time might become tedious and time consuming. So that's why you have download all. So we can just click on download all. And what it does, it downloads the whole files area in files.zip. But before you get worried about all the space the students are going to use, you can set the file quota for each student in the admin area of the site policies. So there you have it. That's a brief look at the new private files functionality for students.